now referring to you place of supply whenever you refer the place of supply i should invite i gst act integrated goods and services tax act only i should refer because it is a cross border transaction that's why now here we have supply of goods place of supply where there is no export or import of goods further place of supply in case of export or import of goods followed by place of supply of services where the location of supplier and location of recipient from taxable territory separate series of place of supply of services followed by place of supply of services where the location of supplier of service or location of the recipient of service from outside india separate series of place of supply of services that means to say that the place of supply of services divided into broadly two one is supply of goods supply of services when we talk about supply of goods place of supply other than the export or import place of supply of goods in case of import export of goods further if you refer here on the other hand supply of services place of supply will be grouped into two group one is called as without import or export of services what is the place of supply on the other hand under the supply of services place of supply of services if the supply is in the nature of export or import of services in such cases the place of supply i am now bringing first and foremost supply of goods place of supply supply of goods other than import or export in that case how to decide the place of supply place of supply supply of goods other than import or export section 10 of igst refers section 10 sub section 1 class a to class z e. we have almost all five classes under sub section 1 of section 10 thereafter section 10 sub 2 here one amendment taken place section 10 sub section 1 class ca has been inserted in the given case which is applicable for for coming exam of may 2024 i will refer that also now first and foremost place of supply involves movement of the goods section 10 sub section 1 class a here it is there 10 1 class a in the given case what is the place of supply supply involves movement of goods supply involves movement of goods in the given case place of supply is equal to where the movement of the goods terminated is a place of supply then location of supplier of goods and place of supply in the within the territory of a particular state or ut then this called intra state supply liable to pay cgst as well as sgst if not cgst and ut gst that means section 8 sub section 1 of igst act says that location of supplier and place of supply both are in the same state or ut subject to section 10 is intra state supply that is section 8 sub section 1 read itself subject to section 10 location of supplier and place of supply within the same state or ut intra state supply sir location of supplier is in one state sub place of supply goes to other state sir in the case where supply involves movement of the goods as per section 10 sub section 1 class a place of supply is a different state location of supplier of the goods in another state sir in that case it is interstate supply if a diff liable to pay is igst applicable how can you say this section 7 sub section 1 of igst act says subject to section 10 section 7 sub section 1 of igst act says that subject to section 10 location of supplier of goods and place of supply in two different states or one in state other one is in ut vice versa in that case interstate supply liable for igst if any now the point arises here supply involves movement of the goods how to understand sir supply involves movement of the goods how to understand sir look here 
Mr. C of Chennai, a registered person, seller of the goods, supply the goods to H Limit of Hyderabad, buyer of the goods. When the buyer asked to supply by issuing the purchase order, seller agreed to send the goods in a truck. For example, I'm telling you, one of the movement of the goods. Then the truck carrying the goods from Chennai to Hyderabad, where the delivery taken place. So the movement of that goods terminated in the state of Telangana. Place of supply is Telangana, location of supply in Tamil Nadu, it is interstate supply. Section 7, sub section 1 of IGST says, subject to section 10 of IGST, location of supplier and the place of supply in two different states or UT or vice versa, in that case, it is called as interstate supply. Place of supply in the given case is equal to Hyderabad, where the movement of the goods terminated. Is clear of my difference? Section 10, sub section 1, clause A it is. Further referring here. Now, here we have place of supply. Section 10, sub section 1, clause B, which says that place of supply in case of goods delivered on direct on the direction of third person then the principal place of the third person is the place of supply principal place of business of the third person is the place of supply how to understand this presenting here as follows goods delivered on the direction of the third person section 10 1b says place of supply is the place of business of third person very good in that case how to understand this y limited chennai a richer person x limited mumbai also Risha person. Y limited in Chennai, X limited in Mumbai. One more company, Z limited Chennai is also be here. There are three parties are involved. Three parties are involved. Three companies are there. Now, Y limited is a seller of the goods to X limited. Seller is Y limited. X limited is a buyer. Therefore, Y limited billing to X limited for the supply of the goods. X limited being a third person in the given triangle requested to Y Limited, sir, sir, you are sending the goods to me to my Mumbai place. Again, I have to send these goods to my one of the customer who is in Chennai Z Limited. All the way coming to Mumbai and going back to Chennai is a tedious job. You are in, in Chennai only. Na? I place the order to buy the goods from you only because you are in Chennai, sir. So, why don't you ship that goods to my buyer Z Limited requested by X Limited to Y Limited? That means X Limited is a third person in the given case requesting Y Limited to send the goods to Z Limited. Y Limited said, don't worry, Mr. X Limited, I will do for you. I will raise the bill, billing to X Limited Mumbai, shipping to Z Limited. It's called bill to ship to model. I am very much aware of it. You don't worry at all. In the invoice, raised by X, Y Limited, mentioning the buyer name as X Limited, the consignee name is called as Z Limited. So, billing to X Limited, shipping the goods to Z Limited. Now, in the given case, strictly speaks, seller is Y Limited from Chennai. Z X Limited is the buyer of Mumbai. Now, goods shipped from where to where? From Chennai Y Limited location to Chennai Z Limited location is called bill to ship to model or also be called as tri-party agreement. In the given case, Section 10, sub section 1, class B. Place of supply for Y limited is equal to the place of principal place of business of the third person. Who is the third person here upon whose direction the goods has been shifted from Y limited Chennai to Z limited Chennai means upon the direction of X limited Mumbai. Therefore, place of supply goes to X limited Mumbai in the given case. X limited Mumbai in the given case. Location of supplier Y limited. Where is located? In Chennai. Place of supply goes to where? Mumbai, Maharashtra. It is as per section 10, as per section 7, sub section 1. Location of supplier in Tamil Nadu, the place of supply in Maharashtra, subject to section 10, is interstate supply. If and if liable to pay IGST in the given case. Now I am going to bring to notice one examination problem in this regard. First exam question. I am now reading this content. You also involve it. You only should answer to me. Amon Ro, a registered supplier under the GST in Mumbai, is directed by Neuro Enterprises Kolkata to deliver goods valued at 
What IGST? Correct? Huh? Yes, perfect. You are right. Now, he paid already Raman Rho, treating as interest rate supply. How much he paid? CGST, GST, 9% each. That means, instead of paying IGST, he paid CGST, GST. In such case, department definitely ask him to pay IGST. If Raman Rho says, Sasar, I already paid the CGST, GST, sir, means, which is not required to pay. Who asked you to pay? You have not paid IGST, now you pay. Sir, if I pay IGST now, what happened? My already paid CGST, HGST. Section 77 of CG, uh, Section 77 of CGST Act specifically says Section 77 of the CGST Act. If you paid CGST, HGST wrongly, instead of payment of IGST, pay now IGST, claim refund of CGST and SGST. Huh. To claim the refund of the CGST, HGST should be within the time limit as specified under Section 54 of the CGST Act, two years time limit is there from the relevant date, within which you have to claim the refund of that CGST, that CGST and SGST. Same way, I paid IGST wrongly, instead of paying CGST, SGST, now you pay CGST, SGST, whatever paid earlier wrongly, IGST can claim refund, but the refund should be subject to section 54, time limit of two years from the relevant date is section 77 of the CGST refers, which is there in the material also in the In the given case, there is only the remedy available to Raman Rao to claim refund of CGST HGST by paying IGST. Now a doubt will come, sir, IGST is going to pay at a later date, no, after the expiry of the due date, no, liable to pay interest, no, section 50 of the CGST Act interest not liable to pay if you ask interest means unfair says section 77 whatever may be the correct amount only paid but under the wrong head does not mean that you go and levy the interest so if i going to pay raman Rao going to pay igst at later date after the due date of payment of the igst going to pay igst then that is not going to be attract interest section 77 very clearly says this is all site practical activities one as a practitioner should carry in the given situation. Here only the poor fellow examiner asking simply what is the price of supply, what is IG, what is the GST level to pay. Price of supply you rightly said is uh, Kolkata, IGST level to pay. The same answer is here my dear friends. Furthermore, I am referring from here. Now, even in the given case, X limited, Y requested Y limited to send the goods to Z limited because Z limited is a customer to X limited. Resultantly, X limited further, he is going to rise against Z limited, obviously bill to collect the payment. So, now X limited rising the bill, bill to Z limited. If so, for X limited, what is the place of supply? Here means, in the given case, is a movement of the goods from Chennai Y limited premises to Z limited Chennai premises. If so, is a movement of the goods terminated where in the premises of Z limited of Chennai. In that case, place of supply under section 10, 1, class A is nothing but Chennai. Location of supplier, Mumbai. Place of supply, Chennai. In that case, place of supply here in the given case is Chennai. In that case, for Mumbai supplier is interstate supply liable for IGST. A second transaction it is. The first transaction what you understand is the same between Y limited and X limited a transaction upon the direction of X limited Y limited bill to Z limited is a tri-party agreement bill to ship to model section 10 1 class B is one part. The second part X limited Mumbai supply bill to Z limited to realize to for recovery of his payment for which transaction is a supply of goods which involves movement, where the movement terminated is the place of supply. Further, my difference. Section 10, subsection 1, class CA, I am going to refer now. Class CA, better to refer after class C, better to say. Section 10, 1, class C, first let us start to discuss. 10, 1, C, supply does not involve movement of goods. What do you mean this? 
Supply does not involve movement of the goods which, with, with which are already familiarized by us. We have been understood. A person coming to our premises and buying the goods, the goods are available in the premises. Therefore, there is no question of separate. It is treating as what we can call uh, supply here. Supply involves movement, not no movement here. I am a seller having the place of business in Bihar, Patna. My name is A Limited, trader, registered person GST, Bihar, Patna. It is my particular shop. A person came, Mr. C of Chennai, all the way from Tamil Nadu to A Limited. Approach me for the want of so and so goods, really available. I sold, purchase goods from A Limited of Patna, aimed of Patna. If so, what is the place of supply? Place of supply, very clearly mentioned here by saying that 101C, location of the goods at the time of delivery of the particular to the recipient. Got the clarity, my dear friends? In the given case, place of supply is goes to Patna, Bihar. There itself the goods are available. In that case, Location of supplier, partner, Bihar. Place of supply, partner, Bihar. Interested supply. Interested supply. Now, a question may come in your mind, sir. This person is a registered person or an unregistered person. Now, this particular doubt arises because of the amended provision has been inserted. A new provision has been inserted. New class has been inserted under section 10, sub section 1, class CA. Class CA has been introduced from 1st October 2023 under section 10 subsection 1 of IGST class CA which says that place of supply of goods made to a person other than a registered person means supply of goods to unregistered person. The place of supply if supply to unregistered person, supply of goods made to unregistered person, notwithstanding anything contrary contained in the provisions of class A, supply involves movement of the goods. Class C, supply does not involve movement of the goods, notwithstanding of these particular two classes of section 10.1, the location as per the address of the said person recorded in the invoice issued in respect of the said supply. and the location of the supplier where the address of the said person is not recorded in the invoice, in that case, location of the supplier. But here they said explanation, very important, powerful explanation it is. For the purposes of this class, recording of the name of the said person in the invoice shall be deemed to be the recording of the address of the said person. The state of the person if recorded in the invoice is the address of the recipient. That is the place of supply. If the state also be not possible, not in a position to mention in the invoice, address not available, recipient address not available, recipient state also be not available in the bill issued by the supplier. Then for the supplier, place of supply goes to location of supplier. Is an amended provision. Now this I am bringing here under section 10, sub so section 1, class C, where if you refer here, it is section 10, 1C generally. When it is Session 10 1C means from 1st October 2023 onwards, if the C of Chennai is registered person under GST, if Mr. C of Chennai is an unregistered person, Section 10 1 Class C will disappear. Section 10 sub so Section 1 Class CA is going to be appear. Accordingly, place of supply goes to the location of the recipient if the recipient address is available in the bill. If not, the recipient state is mentioned in the bill is the address of the recipient. Therefore, that is a place of supply. If the recipient address not available, if the recipient state also be not available when issue the bill by the supplier, simply Mr. X, who is X? We do not know. Like that bill has been issued in the name and address of the recipient not there, and state of the recipient also not there in the bill. Because supplier says, I supply to unregistered person who is the end user. In that case, section 10, sub section 1, class C S says that if address of the recipient not available, address of the uh, state of the recipient also not available in the bill, the location of supply is a place of supply as per section 10, sub section 1, class C A. If the recipient is a registered person, then in that case, section 10.1, class C appear here. Same provision also 
when you talk about section 10 1a section 10 1a when you talk about supply involves movement of the goods to whom supplied to an unrestricted person supplied if it is a supply to an unrestricted person the location of the recipient address will be available obviously in the bill because when i supply the goods to where you supply can I, can I supply to uh, open space to particular Bay of Bengal or what? There must be a recipient address where the goods should be supplied. Therefore, obviously, in that case, section 10.1 CA says that since the supply supply the goods to initial person where the movement of the goods involved, the bill of the supplier obviously may containing address of the recipient is the place of supply. If the address also not available, if the person who purchased Anish person is a well-known famous person in that locality sufficient, if I said uh, Tamil Nadu, Mr. Rajinikan, actor Tamil Nadu, enough, address of the Rajinikan not required, who is a gigantic person, if that type of supply taken place, address of the recipient may not be available. In that case, the state of the recipient sufficient to treat as a, is a place of supply. In the case where the supply involves movement of the goods, when the goods has been supplied to unrestricted person, says section 10 1 class C A, notwithstanding section 10 1 class A. So, section 10 1 class A, section 10 1 class C comes into picture that is only when when the supply made to registered person, when the supply made to unrestricted person, neither class A comes into picture if it is involved movement of the goods, nor class C comes into picture if the supply involves no movement of the goods. What is going to come and appear? Section 10, 1 class C A comes into appear from 1st October 2023. In that case, place of supply is equal to location of the recipient address available in the bill is a supply, place of supply. If the address of the recipient not available, no, at recipient state is mentioned in wise is address of the recipient is the place of supply. If the address of the recipient not available in the bill, the state of the recipient also not available in the bill. In that case, supply of goods made to unrestricted person, location of supplier is the place of supply. It is what the amended provision from 1st October 2003. In the given case, for example, I said is a recipient is a registered person, therefore, section 10 1 C apply where the supply involves no movement of the goods. If I say, no sir, C of Chennai is unregistered person, sir. Oh, then section 10 1 class C not appear. Then what is going to appear? Section 10, 1, class C A appear. If there is a case, what is the place of supply for the supplier? In that case, place of supply is equal to the recipient address available in the bill is a place of supply. Huh? Address available, sir. Sir, address not available, sir. Only C of Chennai, sir. Oh, C of Chennai. Chennai means what? Tamil Nadu only. Therefore, state is available. So, in the bill, Mr. C, Chennai. is Tamil Nadu. Not the state I mentioned. The Hyderabad, if I say, is Telangana. So, like that, mention state name Tamil Nadu, Mr. C. Tamil Nadu, then sufficient is address of the recipient, is the place of supply. In that case, place of supply is equal to Tamil Nadu. Location of supplier, Bihar partner, interstate supply. Sir, here, not like this, sir, is only Mr. C. Who is he? From where he hails? We do not know. In the bill issue, in that case, uh, location of supplier. So, as per section 10 1 class C A, in that case, place of supply goes to partner Bihar. Location of supplier Bihar. Place of su location of supplier of goods Bihar. Place of supply Bihar. Intrastate supply. Is a last resort to refer the provision. First, you have to see location of the recipient, address available is a place of supply. If that is not there, location of the state of the recipient is mentioned is a place of supply. If both are not there, location of supply is a place of supply. Says section 10 1 class CA. Section 10 section 1 class CA comes into picture only when when supply made to unrestricted person where supply involves movement of the goods or supply does not involve movement of the goods. Notwithstanding section 10 1 class A, notwithstanding section 10 1 class C, section 10 section 1 class CA will come and appear. Is a overriding provision, the meaning of it. Sir, why this provision has been brought as an amended provision sir, means is a really warranted to have more clarity. There are many people, migrant workers in Tamil Nadu, many of them coming from Bihar and a Bihar, Jharkhand from North India side. From there, our Indians used to come to Tamil Nadu where they are going to work and help to our people in Tamil Nadu, migrant workers. When they are working almost nine months, one year here, they end the amount while going to their hometown on vacations or on particular especially uh, festivals, they used to go with some 
uh, gift items with their beloved friends and uh, family members. Therefore, they used to buy certain goods in Tamil Nadu, in Chennai, a new cell phone has been purchased, for example, I am telling you, or otherwise the specs purchase or the cloth purchase here in Tamil Nadu and going to their hometown along that goods. Especially in that case, if I am a seller of uh, cloths, I am a registered person. Where I am having the place of business in Tamil Nadu, in Chennai, small shop, I am a registered person with GST law. And if they came and purchased cloth for rupees 8,900 rupees, bill came. And I am issuing the bill to them. Name, what is your name? Bhuvan. Uh, Bhuvan. Address? Address and all. I don't know, sir. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Miss, I paid the amount to you. Please give me the goods. They are migrant workers, telling you. But the supplier is a registered person in India, in Tamil Nadu. Issue the invoice. What is the place of supply? Then supplier asking, Hey Bhuvan, please tell me at least your state from where you have come from. You have come from which state? You have come from which state? Say that. Like that, this particular gentleman seller asking the buyer. He said, We are in Bihar. Ah, very good. Bihar, ah, okay, Bihar. Bhuvan, Bihar. If mentioned in invoice, sufficient for a registered person, the place of supply goes to Bihar. He is liable to pay in that bill. Issued to that particular uh, buyer who is a migrant worker in our given example, I just should be charged. I just if that fellow says, Sir, don't ask me my state and all, I am Indian, we respect our Indians. So, my name you want, Bhavan Rikard, I am from India only. Then, very good bill has been issued to the initial person by the initial person just by mentioning Bhavan. Their address of the recipient not there, the state of the recipient also be not there. In such circumstances, what is the place of supply? Location of supplier, Tamil Nadu, Chennai is a place of supply. With that time, liable to pay CGST, HST. Sufficient is the way in which Section 10, sub Section 1, Class CA is introduced from 1st October 2023. One definitely can expect in the coming exam of May 2024. Is an amended provision. Now we are referring so far this particular Section 10 1A, 10 1B, 10 1C, 10 1CA. Further, I am bringing you to notice 10 1 class D. 10 1 class D. What it says? What is it is? Goods assembled are installed at site. Goods assembled are installed at site. What is the place of supply? If you refer here, 10 1 class D says that place of supply, place of installation or assembly. Where you have assembled, where you have uh, what we got installed. Is the place supply where the insertion taking place, supply taking place. Session 10 1D where the supply involved, supply of goods involved, assembling or installation. The place of supply goes where the assembling has been completed or installation has been done. In that regard, I am bringing to your notice here as follows one example on the top. Purchases a machine from B where both A and B are in Haryana. The machine, however, needs to be installed New Delhi in New Delhi. The place of supply will be. New Delhi because installation in New Delhi as the machine is installed in New Delhi. Location of supplier where? Haryana. Place of supply goes to New Delhi because installation taking place in New Delhi. Therefore, location of supplier in Haryana, place of supply New Delhi as per section 10 1 of IGST subject to section 10, location of supplier one state, place of supply in another state is called as interstate supply. IGST will be applicable if it is a taxable supply. Obviously, for the tax of supply money, we are referring. For the 101D, with some example, one more example. Assembly. Earlier I said installation example, now assembling purpose. Goods assembled, if so, in that case. Which assembled and installation goes hand in hand, in fact. One example. X Limited, Meerut, UP, Uttar Pradesh. Gives a contract to BHEL Limited, Bilaspur, Himachal Pradesh. To supply a heavy motor machine, which is required to be assembled in a factory located in Manali, Himachal Pradesh. The place of supply is what? Where the assembly taking place? Where the assembly taking place? Manali, Himachal Pradesh. Is the place of supply. Location of supply? BHL Limited, Bilaspur, Himachal Pradesh. In that case, is interstate supply liable to pay CGST HGS. Further referring to you. Section 10, sub section 1. Clause A. Goods supplied on board conveyance. Conveyance which includes vehicle, vessel, aircraft, train is conveyance. Not the actual reimbursement from the employer by the employee. That is a different concept. Here is a different concept. We have separate definition for the term conveyance. Which includes vessel, vehicle, aircraft, train like that. Now in the given case my dear friends. 
one example I'm bringing. First of all, what is the price supply as per section 101E? 101E says goods supplied on board conveyance. Place of supply is location where goods are taken on board, not actual sale taking place, where you have taken that goods and entered into that conveyance for supply purpose. The place of boarding into that conveyance is a place of supply. How to understand this with example here? Mr. D of Delhi boards the Delhi Mumbai train at Delhi. During the journey, he sells the goods at Vadodara, which were taken on board by him at Delhi. The place of supply goes to the place where the goods has been taken on board. Where they taken on board at Delhi. So, place of supply goes to Delhi. Location of supplier, if Delhi, interest supply, irrespective of the that goods might be sold during the journey at any place or in any state immaterial. So, this is how to be catch hold and all, sir. Means, see, government, GST council feel all our Indians are too good. No doubt. Prime office, we being in Indians, we are too good. Unless you one or two misuse the provision for which separate sections are there to take care and to punish. Generally, in the given case, a person who is selling the goods on board conveyance are unrestricted person only. There are, are called as unorganized sector. If a person grown and obtain the registration, a honest taxpayer and the person selling the goods on board conveyance, in that case, obviously he will report that, yes, I am Mr. D of Delhi, I am boarding Delhi to sell the goods during the journey to the passengers. In that case, the that gentleman might have been received the permission from the Indian Railways where the Indian Railways are giving the permission by charging the charges. In that case, that particular licensed person permitted to sell in particular train. In that case, obviously he will report correctly the board of the boarding point where he board to decide the price of supply. Department not required to run behind the gentleman actually where you boarded Delhi or Vadodara or Vijayawada not required to be run behind. Liability by GST. But only thing is when you talk about CGST, HGST and IGST. CGST, HGST is a revenue of the state. IGST also be revenue of the state along with the central government. CGST revenue of the central, HGST revenue of the state. IGST also be revenue of the central and state temporarily collecting by the government of India by imposing the IGST and subsequently going to be apportioned between the central and state with the help of a central clearing agency we call it CCA. That is CCA going to take care to settle IGST between the central and states. The state. Which state will get the IGST revenue means the state in which the goods or services got consumed meaning thereby IG, the GST is basically consumption based tax, destination based tax. So, where the goods are got consumed in which state, the state will get revenue along with the central government. That is the phenomenon of IGST, temporarily IGST charging by central government but subsequently apportioning between central and state. Then you can ask me doubt why? The central government should collect IGST, sir. Let them state government itself can collect the CGST IGST, no, sir. Not possible. Reason, state government of Tamil Nadu can enact, act in the state assembly to apply within the territory of Tamil Nadu. The state government of Tamil Nadu assembly, legislative assembly, enacting the act which is not applicable in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Even not applicable in the unity of Pondicherry. So, a transaction between the states interstate transaction interstate transaction one state cannot have legislation to impose the levy in the other state resultantly central government of india is empowered to do so levying the igst subsequently apportioning between the central and state with the help of central clearing agency of gst network portal which state will get the revenue ultimately along with the central is the state in which the goods services got consumed as simple as that. Now, please come back. With this, I can say that section 10, sub section 1, clause A to clause A is concluded. Now, referring to section 10, sub section 2, which says that any other case, any other case means other than the case of section 10, 1, clause A to class E. In that case, section 10, 2 says that place of supply will be uh, decided by the government 
अपने भी पार्लियामेंट प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई शेल बी डिटरमाइंड इन सच मैनर एज मे बी प्रिस्क्राइब्ड लेट इफ इट इज एनएक्टेड अकॉर्डिंगली वी रेफर फॉर द टाइम बीइंग इज ओनली डिफॉल्ट प्रोविजन सुप्रीमो प्रोविजन वन कैन नॉट से दैट माय ट्रांजैक्शन नॉट कवर्ड अंडर सेक्शन 10 वन ए क्लास ए क्लास बी क्लास सी क्लास सी ए क्लास डी क्लास सी नॉट कवर्ड देयरफॉर आई एम एस्केपिंग फ्रॉम द प्लेस ऑफ सप्लाई कांसेप्ट यू कैन नॉट से इन सच पीक्युलर केसेस इन दैट पर्टिकुलर रेयर ऑफ द रेयर केसेस place of supply will be decided by the government as per section 10 sub section 2 that time by notifying it if notified we will discuss that so for the time being my dear friends section 10 1 as as a whole supply of goods place of place of supply supply of goods place of supply other than import or export of goods is concluded